so he comes to the disciples and he says, he opens up their minds to show them the scripture. They were startled and frightened, thinking they saw a ghost. And he said, why are you troubled? Why do doubts remind you, rise in your minds? Look at my hands and look at my feet. It's me, myself. Touch me and see. The spirit does not have flesh and bones as you see I have. When he said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. And still, they did not believe because of joy and amazement. Do you have anything to eat, he says. They gave him a piece of broiled fish and he took it and ate it in their presence. You see how God is so interested in that we understand and we see this. And so that's what the Eucharist is. We're partaking of him who is risen. And he's making himself present here with us. Present enough to we take him in in reality and mystically. His body, blood, soul, and divinity. And we become transformed by that if we allow and allow him to transform us. That's the key. This is what I told you, he said in verse 44, while I was still with you. Everything must be fulfilled that was written about me in the law of Moses, the prophets, and the Psalms, which are the three parts of the Old Testament. And he opened up their minds that they understood the scriptures. And he told them, this is what is written. Notice the liturgy of the word here. That Christ will suffer and rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance and forgiveness of sins will be preached in his name to all nations, beginning at Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. I'm going to send you what my Father has promised, but stay in the city until you have been clothed with power from him on high. Now what I want us to remember, I told you about the coming of the Omer. The time of the counting to the days from the day of the resurrection or first fruits. The counting of 50 days. Today is day 15 in reality. The counting of 50 days to the feast of Pentecost, which is Shavuot, which is the feast that is of the giving of the law at Mount Sinai. That's the reason this feast was celebrated by the Jews. But yet the feast of Pentecost, and I've said this before, where 3,000, where 3,000 were slain by the Levites, according to the law of Moses, because they were idolaters, and they had no faith. And on the 49th day, they made the golden calf. And they worshipped the calf, and not the lamb, slain before the foundation of the world. And the feast day that they, the nation of Israel, celebrated, their very first Pentecost, guess what happened? 3,000 of them were killed by the Levites. 3,000 of them because of the idolatry in the rebellion. But on the other side of the cross, on the other side, Jesus Christ, the very Son of God, the Lamb of God that takes away the sin of the world, that Lamb that was slain before the foundation of the world, which everything speaks of. Jesus saying, wait until the day of Pentecost, which was the second giving of the law of the love of God this time. To love the Lord our God with all of our hearts, mind, soul, and strength, and to love our neighbors as ourselves, as he gave us commandment. That Lord Jesus Christ brought 3,000 on the day of Pentecost into the church of Jesus Christ, which is the call out. And as the two wave offerings were offered in the temple, the two loaves of barley, the only barley harvest feast in the Old Testament 
Let us go out and fully 